the grandfather had a vision. He was, the Blessed Mother appeared to Grandpa, and he was inspired to build a statue or a shrine. So there's a 17-foot shrine next door in his barber shop, which is now Clara's soup kitchen. So the family feels they've been blessed. They have this message of this miracle. And during the play, we find out that things that they thought were true are not necessarily what they thought, and uh, they have to deal with it. My character's name is Jimmy. He's a, uh, he's a garbage man who lives in Buffalo, New York with his, uh, uh, with his family. He's, uh, you can tell he doesn't really, he likes being in the town. He likes to be where he's at. He's, uh, he's a big teddy bear kind of a guy. Um, uh, kind of rough looking, but uh, really a sweet guy. But he, he likes to make jokes and have fun and that sort of thing. Uh, my character's name is Ruth Novak. She's uh, mid-30s, uh, the middle child of the family. Um, so she has the younger brother and the older sister. Uh, she is um, an aspiring actress. She's trying to go His out and explore the arts and, and that sort of thing. Um, so she's a little more on the creative side. And uh, she has an idea about this one woman show um, based on a book that she's been writing. So she's kind of um, trying to get that idea off and onto um, stage somewhere. I play Beverly Novak. She's the oldest daughter of the Novak family. Um, she loves God and her mother and bowling, pretty much in that order. She's extremely high energy. She's very physical and she's really, really sarcastic. She's, she's an independent woman who has learned to rely on herself for happiness, so it kind of makes her come across as rather self-centered. She takes care of number one. Clara Novak, she is uh, the matriarch of this family. Uh, she has three children, she's a widow, and I'm saying she's been a widow for 10 years. Um, she lives in the same neighborhood where she grew up, um, and she has her reasons. Uh, she was told all her life that there was a uh, the appearance of the Blessed Mother Mary right there in her in her father's barbershop and so she feels that they you know she believes they live on holy ground and she will never move from this place. I think I just have a great time it's a very very fun um, and meaningful presentation and the actors are amazing.